So we'll start from the back end. Like I said, we'll go position by position. So the corners, like I said, they're key. It's not going to change them. anything else we do. They are on number one. They're playing press man. Quarters covered. And they are a secondary pitch play. Okay? Where it's going to change a little bit. Not a little bit. It's not going to change too much. But really our safeties now are going to key the wings. Okay? They are playing quarters covered on the wings. That's their, that's their key. Okay? They become a secondary pitch player. Now, that wing can do a couple different things. All right, he's going to arc, he's going to push vertical for a pass, he'll go in motion. So we'll kind of go through each of the steps. So really the first one is the arc release by the wing. So you see, again, we're at about two by eight. We're keying him, we're going to get the arc. We're just going to fit up to the outside of that right there. And there we go, there's our tackle right there. So again, he's on him, he's going to arc. We'd like the tempo to be more to a crossover run. Again, when I say crossover run, I can't do it right now. I'll try to do it with my left foot. My body's staying square to the line of scrimmage. All right, and I'll cross over with my shoulder square. That way, if that guy's going to cut back, I can plant and get back. If I just run to the sidelines like this, I can't, and he cuts back, I'm screwed. So our huge emphasis with our safety, with our linebackers, is getting into that crossover run. You see with our corners, we'll press man, they're going to run us off here. We'll get off a bit late. We'll play some different techniques to the outside. He's playing press man. He's into more of our bail technique, which again, he'll just miss time to snap right there. Um, but they'll just fall back late into the picture. <clears throat> Seeing it from the tight, again, uh, we'll be in 20s. We'll adjust our linebackers as we go. He just fits out to the arc. So the arc block is fairly easy. The big one now is when the safety motions away. All right, so now we're going to get motion away with our safeties. They are responsible for number two. That's the only thing we really changed out of our quarter. He's going to go away. We talked about triggering already. Our safety is going to go with, I talked about numbers, right? That's numbers right there at the sideline. Okay, so we're going to sit there. He's going to motion away. He's fine, I'm going. So it's almost essentially zero cover. So we're still playing in our, in our kids' lines. It's quarters. We just changed a little bit of rules uh, with our safeties that if your guy goes in motion, you go. But that's how we're triggering. So everything we do with these guys is based on the trigger. So we're going to get a lot of, because of the way we trigger, we get a lot of counter motions. All right, so you kind of see that right off the bat. So we have a great tempo right here. I'll kind of go back to it. Great tempo by our field safety right here. He doesn't just turn and run. We're going to get the counter motion by him. He comes back, now it's just an arc to him. So now he fits outside, there's his guy. They have nobody to account to our backside safety. All right, it's pretty awesome, I love the way we triggered on it. Uh, it was very successful for us. Uh, this was Ryan Weber, I know there, uh, if you guys don't know who Ryan is, Ryan's from down the road in Holman. Uh, was a fantastic four year starter uh, for us. Uh, had, got banged up, really banged up this year unfortunately. Was an all American safety. Um, I didn't know how good Ryan was until you know, because I was playing against him at Platteville, I didn't know how good he was until watching him do this in this game, where he made about six tackles just like that, just running sidelines to sidelines. So again, the match, the match down here, he goes, I'm going to go, good tempo right there, into our crawl, now I can fit to the outside, and there's his tackle as we go. Okay, we'll see it again here. Again, we're matched on our wings, it's a safety position, we're playing some off man on the outside, our bail technique. Good job by him playing under. He, if he, I don't know what they're trying to run here. I think it's kind of like a fear type look. But if he's going to push vertical, now I'll take him after five yards. I'm going to go with him. And now he's going to make this tackle. That's a long way to go. Again, they're trying to think that they could beat our boundary safety to that. But you see, we're taking good angles, and we're going from there. Okay, moving on. So we get to the safety instant. All right, so we talked about the arc. We talked about the uh, motion away now. Now it's the insert. We're starting to get some more of those midline type concepts. All right, so number two, inserts. You insert. So I told you the beauty of, of quarters. And you see, we're not, we can't spin wrong on this because our safeties are matched on guys with quarters. So we're going to get an extra guy exactly to where they want to insert. So again, we kind of go back to that flex bone type look. We get the counter motion. He inserts. Now our safety inserts. Here it is. He's going to give us a little bit and then try to come back. I think it's like a counter type dive, counter midline. Uh, 
but he's going to now fit. Our linebacker does a good job coming back, recognizing the play. And now we got two right to the point of attack. We get the arc right here, so they're going to try to motion everybody away, so we're going to lose that safety. He'll still fit out there. But with our insert right here by 39, he's just off of him the whole time. There we go. Okay, moving on. Again, another insert right here. Now they're going to try to insert. They try it again. If you watch the previous picture, they're going to miss our backside linebacker right here, our front side, really. They're going to miss him. So now they're going to take in the next kind of progression. They're going to take him and try to lead to our linebacker right here. Well, then nobody blocks him. He inserts, you insert. There we go. We make the play. Again, not a favorable situation, but we're going to make the play at about two just off of our safety insert. Okay, again, you still see 39's working with our motion. Okay, so you'll see again, he's going to go away. He goes, insert right here, boom, there we go. His tackle made. Coach? Yep. How much do you see that quarterback keep that and then follow? Because that's the one play we have. Yep, that's what, uh, there's a few different things. When we talk about our defensive line with that follow stuff, I played our nose front side. And then that's, it came back to bite us in the ass about, I don't know, maybe three series into the game. They took, like, they just ran like that kind of counter dive uh, for about 30. So we had to adjust that in the game and for the following week to bring him backside. But, and I'll kind of get into that at the end with like, some of the things that we see because of our triggers. A lot of it is all the counter motion and kind of come back. We actually, uh, I think uh, Rippon also ran a play that was, it was almost just like he did Rippon and then just turned and ran uh, just because of the way we triggered. Uh, with our safeties, and then you're going to see, we'll talk about our linebackers too, and you'll see, hey, yeah, we're going to counter motion, this is why some of the things that we see. So, moving into our inside linebackers, this is where it really gets fun. It's going to be a little bit different as opposed to their run fit. Uh, this is stuff we had to work on throughout the week. We took about, you know, our head coach, uh, we talk about our individual time. Our head coach, his individual philosophy is that our job there, an individual, is to work on being a better linebacker, defensive back, defensive lineman. So it's all technique stuff. We don't do like, I don't spend 20 minutes an individual getting ready for, for the option. Um, so this is little stuff, little drills that we did just, whether it's in the film room or about five minutes before practice starts, we kind of have this little, you know, kind of walk through time and that's the stuff we do. So our inside linebackers, their key is now the fullback. Okay? They're on him the whole time. It's just off where he insert. Does he insert to you or does he insert away from you? So their alignment's going to be in 20s. Uh, as the game goes, you kind of saw some clips already. As the game goes on, uh, we'll see what they're trying to do. And we could adjust them. Uh, we can bring them a little bit wider as it goes. But the, really, the main part is put them in 20s. Now, if the fullback inserts to you, you immediately go to pitch. You are the pitch player now. You are the primary pitch player. Okay, so you'll see, and that's what we talk about angles. He's got to be flat. He's got to scrape over. He can't let that, that, that tackle from the front side climb to him. He's got to be flat over out to pitch. If he inserts away to you, you become a secondary uh, dive to secondary quarterback type player. So really, they're just going to kind of scrape to see what they can find. All right, and what I'll clear that up when we get to some film. All right, so they are on the fullback the whole time. Fullback's going to insert to the field. I'm out to pitch. There we go. Right away. Now we're going to lose. I think we lose him right here. There's a lot of stuff coming at him. It gets pushed up to him. Uh, again, you see but that, that's a bad angle, right? Now, I don't know if he's going to save because of the way that tackle climbs so fast, but he's got to scrape flat at five yards. And that was the hardest part for those guys was to scrape flat. They wanted to do a lot of stuff where they kind of step up a few steps. So that was kind of like a whole drill in that pre-practice type period was staying flat. And really, it was just me and then two linebackers right here. And I would just step one way or the other so that we could work flat and work all of our triggers like this. Hey, Coach, you got yeah. a tight Get the tight end there. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. You're going to get there. Okay. Yeah, I'll get to all the formations and how we're going to change it when we get into the formations, too. So it's the same concept for our inside linebackers. The formation doesn't matter at all for that. Now, for the safeties in the corners, it really it's kind of the same thing, uh, but the formation will just kind of change some, some of their responsibilities. So for our linebacker, whatever we have called is really play in formation. Simple, it doesn't matter. They don't have to worry about it. It's kind of like the one. <coughs> the, first, the only week that the linebackers don't have to worry about a formation for the most part. Um, so, again, like we said, triggering off the fullback to the field insert. He's out. I can now scrape. Again, we got to get our nose to the backside A gap. Okay, we look at it again. Again, we're getting under center. We're getting that flex bone type look. We're going to get the counter motion. This is kind of a 
you know, see some different plays and not just the fear. You know, we're going to get the motion all the way across. Now Rippin uh, had a chance to see our film. They watched our film, so they see all of our triggers with their safety. So this was kind of their play to that, was to just basically waste our boundary safety, get him on the other side of the field, and now we'll just run, you know, whatever you want to call it, load or speed option with our fullback here. Well, it doesn't matter because, hey, I'm still a primary pitch guy. There's my fullback insert. There I go. There's my play. I'll scrape to the quarterback as I go. Okay, so that kind of gives you a view, and we'll go from the tight. See, he's gone now, but we're still going to gain him off uh, out to pitch. Okay, we'll get a different formation. Again, kind of the same premises. We're going to get kind of a, a slot type look, uh, but still the same premises with them. We'll get the motion over, and there we go. So that's our whole, really our whole Oki system right there with our two linebackers. Now he triggers out to the bubble. We're going to get it to the, to the pitch. He triggers. There we go. Again, it's hard to account for him. He's got to stay flat. The tackle can't get to him. We get enough just by 44, just enough of a shove. Not really much, but just enough to delay him. Now they're trying to take both to our, our trigger guy, our safety, but we're still going to make the, the play with our inside linebacker right there. Coach? Yep. I don't want to jump ahead because then you'll get to this and get the D line stuff. But on that end zone shot, your ends are pinching hard inside, not really worried. There, are you telling them to get hands on much all of their right to die? Yeah, and that's I'm going to get to the defensive line. But yeah, we were in a four eye reading the guards, um, and that's a position I'll get to it when I talk about. But that's a position I would wish I would have worked a lot more on because I think uh, maybe some of you guys have had this problem before with option teams. Our defensive line, like all of a sudden, like I, like we kind of lost our technique because it was all hey, I have to dive. Well, there's, you know, he's not. You're not just going to be the dive key the whole time. Um, so that's one. I, as we go into next year, we're going to focus a lot more on the technique with their defensive line. Coach, could you repeat uh, insert away what you're telling your linebacker here? If he inserts away, he now becomes pretty much a scrape player. So he's going to become a secondary dive player to a secondary quarterback player. Uh, really, he's going to try to see the first thing that he comes across. Again, give another look at it. Again, we're seeing a, close, uh, a different unbalanced formation right here. Uh, you know, talking about what you just asked with the scrape technique right here. Uh, really, it just be kind of coming for him as I'm scraping. I'm thinking dive initially, then to quarterback. And this is going to open up again. He's triggering out to pitch. We'll get our safeties with all of our triggers right here. He's out. Now our corner be kind of comes to the balls. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but now you'll kind of see 56 here. I'm just going to straighten. There it is. You know, that's on a fourth and two now, we're off the field. 